All right, here's another video. A little error. Uh, this is number two. It's page 836. And um, this is the stuff on gradients and directional derivatives. Uh, what we have here is a function and a curve. And we're asked to calculate first the gradient of the function and the uh, tangent of the curve. And then to calculate uh, two different ways, the rate of change of the composite function um, with respect to t. So remember the composite function, what we're lo lo saying here is that there's this curve and there's this function of space and we're looking at the values of the function restricted along that curve. And we're asking the question, how do the values of that function change as you move along that curve? And so there are different ways of doing this. The way we did it in class was to compute the dot product of the gradient on the path times the dotted with the tangent vector, finding the sort of the amount of the gradient in the direction of motion. But you could also do it explicitly by just differentiating the um, composite function. So we'll do both and show that they match. All right. So first, let's calculate the gradient of the function. So the function is e to the xy. So the gradient, first the partial with respect to x, will give you y e to the xy. And then the partial with respect to y gives you x e to the xy. So that's the gradient. Um, the gradient evaluated on the curve, well, what we're going to do is replace the y's with the y um, function, the y component, and replace the x's with the x component. So down here, the y is a 1 plus t, and then e, the product of x and y, 1 plus t, t cubed. I'll zoom in a bit there. And then the next component, we have the x, which is t cubed, again, times e to the 1 plus t, t cubed. So this is the gradient of the function on the path, restricted to the path. Now we also need the tangent of the curve. So that's not bad. That's just 3t squared, comma, 1. So now we have the gradient and the tangent. We can move to part B, which is to compute their dot product. So we have uh, grad f dot with c prime. Again, this is the gradient evaluated at the, the path. So the dot product is just component-wise multiplication added up. We'll have 3t squared, 1 plus t e to the 1 plus t, t cubed, uh, plus t cubed, e to the 1 plus t, t cubed. Okay. So that's the uh, function. It can be cleaned up a little bit by taking out the exponential, which is a t cubed plus t to the fourth. And inside it will have a 3t squared plus a 3t cubed plus a t cubed, and those are a 4t cubed. So that was B, um, computing the dot product. Now let's go ahead and look at the um, composite function. So the function f along the path. So remember the function f is e to the product of x and y. The path is t cubed and 1 plus t. So the t cubed is going to go up there. The 1 plus t is going to go over there where the y is. So we have an e to a 1 plus t, t cubed. And we can differentiate this um, explicitly, viewing this as a function of t. And so simplifying this, we'll have e to the uh, t cubed plus um, t to the fourth. If I differentiate that, I get 3t squared plus 4t squared, or not so squared, uh, cubed, e to the same thing we had before, so you can chain a rule. 
So now if we look at this and we compare it to what we would have gotten here, we see they are in fact the same. Okay, so we've completed the exercise. Just a basic exercise in computing some of these values.